So patellar tendinopathy, or commonly known as jumper's knee, it's usually most felt when you're doing those jumping and loading activities. So when it becomes quite chronic, it can actually complain, people complain that you actually feel it when you go up and down stairs as well. So that's quite at the end stages of the pathology of it. The, the gold standard for identifying patellar tenopathy is actually ultrasound. But clinically, just palpation and just by pressing on the patella tendon, which is just below the apex of the patella, is quite clinically useful and has been proven to be reliable. Now the Stortz unit that I have here with the radial shockwave, um, there's two different headpieces that come with it. There's a 15mm and there's a 20mm, which we will progress to later. The settings we like to, I like to use, typically I would start at 1.8 bars and I would have it about 15 hertz. Any higher than that can actually aggravate the knee and what we want to do is create a comfortable dose of pain, not overly sore. So when we turn it on and we target on the knee on that patella tendon, I like to move it around instead of keeping it still. Now for those that are symptomatic and quite hyper inflamed and quite sensitive, you can actually turn the dosage down to let's say 1.5, even 1.4. In my experience, most people can tolerate that. If that's still too much, another tweak you can do is lower the frequency to about 10 Hertz. The lowest I've gone down to is probably eight. Now, after doing this for a few sessions, normally each time I would do no less than 2000 hits. I would progress to, as I was before, about 2.0 bars, about 12 to 15 Hertz, somewhere in between that range. Now, once they've come quite comfortable and accommodated to that intensity, I would change the headpiece to a 20 mil. Now, you got to no, the patella tendon, it's most sensitive when you palpate and you test it when the knee is in neutral extension. So when you do it on the patient, place a towel underneath the knee so it's slightly bent at about 15, 20 degrees and that'll take away a bit of the pain as well when you're hitting it. So once they've progressed about, after about the fourth session, I normally, they're quite comfortable with a 20 mil head here. And then with this, because it's a lot stronger, you could start with 1.8 bars at 10 hertz and progress to 2.0 bars.